Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home for a Monday, or my Sunday or Saturday number one or number two. We haven't quite figured that out. Or better yet, as known as Barber Aaron Day. Uh, we're going to do a removable blade straight razor shave today, but before we do that, as always, right down here, www.theshavingcadre.com. Come and visit us, see what you think. It's free to join, and we'd certainly like you to come see us. Also, right over here, the barber pole with the cowboy hat, please click on that. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. And then, as always, a list of stars and channels down at the bottom, both shaving and non-shaving. Take a look at it, and there's a little bell in there. Go ahead and ring that bell, and you'll be notified of all new contact or uh, videos contact with that because that and today's shave is brought to you by nurse dave's shaving world the original blue poker chip it's fantastic and you can bet on it and it's approved for all tse airlines on gluing luggage luggage i don't know anyway uh let's watch jasper run across the field and uh we'll be right back everybody we're back and uh, today uh, we're going to be using you know and there was a picture of it in the front end of the video uh, but we're going to be using a noble otter logbook um, and uh, this is the second use of this and it's just I want to see if my initial impressions were were true and just based on the soap itself it's wonderful um, also, we're going to do a couple of tips um, on straight razor shaving, whether it be with a shavette or with a regular straight razor that I think will help your shaves become a little bit more comfortable. Um, and this is not something that I invented. This has been around for thousands of years. And if you've ever been to a sushi restaurant if you're so inclined to love sushi as much as I am, you will notice that they do this every single time they cut anything. And you'll find that it'll work with your straight razor as well. That's how easy it is to put this uh, lather on. It's just wonderful. You can even add more water if you want. Um, but uh, it's it's wonderful. We had actually, uh, to segue to another subject, we had a, actually a great, great Zoom call last night. A bunch of the guys stuck around until later and talked about all things. Uh, then also, we, uh, we had a uh, uh, some snow flurries last night, believe it or not. It's chilly. We're not supposed to get out of the 40s today. So anyhow, um, as I was saying uh, last couple of uh, times, make sure that you lock yourself into your razor, both at the tang and in front. And if you've got a thumb notch, use it. Um, the one trick that I would suggest... that every straight razor shaver, whether it be with a shavette or whether it be with a regular straight razor, whether or not you're a cold water shaver like I am most of the time, or whether you're a warm water shaver, I suggest there's a component of hot water that you put into it. And I'll explain why. Now, when I'm using a Shavette or a a um, removable blade straight razor, what I do is I fill the basin with hot water and then just rinse it that way. When I'm using a regular straight razor, I wipe the blade on a sponge, but that sponge is in hot water. And what I'll do is I'll have the basin full as well. Now, what I suggest you do is before you start your shave, turn on your water as hot as you can get it and run the blade underneath that hot water for five minutes, four minutes, whatever. That'll heat up the blade. It does change the molecular structure just a little bit, but what you'll find is that the blade will feel softer on your skin. Even if you're a cold water shaver, use that part hot. And then before each pass or after each rinse, then what you want to do is take and dip the blade 
in that basin of hot water or a container of hot water, or if you use a lather catcher, uh, that little indentation. And then basically wet the blade and let the water trickle down the blade itself and have it hot. And that will make the blade feel so much smoother on your skin. And it'll also help your shave. Um, like I said, and that's whether or not you use cold or warm water to, uh, to shave with. Um, now, I said earlier, well, the next time you're in a sushi restaurant, if you so like sushi, watch what the chef does with the tip of the knife. What they will do is because, remember, part of the sushi roll, so to speak, is the rice. And traditionally, the rice is cooked um, in a solution of rice, wine, vinegar, and water. But the water, uh, the gluten in the rice makes it very sticky. And so to cut through that smoothly and cleanly, because as most of you know, sushi is not just food, it's art. And they want to present that as nice as possible. And to do that, they need to make sure that that blade slices right through with no issues whatsoever. And uh, by wetting the blade, that creates that lubrication, so to speak. And the reason why I know this is one of the sushi restaurants that uh, we used to frequent all the time, uh, the chef and us became fairly good friends. And uh, I had asked him about that one time and I told him about straight razors and stuff like that. And he agreed it, it's pretty much the same principle. Um, and he showed me the difference between wetting a blade and not wetting a blade before slicing. In fact, he took it to the nth degree and he actually took a cooked piece of rice or two pieces of rice and cut both of them with his uh, sushi knife. And what was amazing is when he cut them without wetting the blade, of course, as you'd imagine, the rice would stick to the, to the blade. But when he just wet the tip with water and let that water trickle down, that rice would slice clean through. And so the concept is the same on a whisker level, I think. Because there's so much talk about keeping your, your straight razor dry. And I get that, you know, around the tang, around the scales, because you don't want um, the blade to rust and so forth. But the blade itself should be lubricated, and water is the way to do it. And it will improve your shaves. So try it. But you want that water to be hot, you know, or at least very, very, very warm. And you don't have to dunk the whole blade, you know, once you've heated up the steel around it. Uh, just dip the front leading edge of the the toe in water and let that trickle down to the heel of the blade. Now, you can dip the whole blade in. That's not going to hurt anything. And that's what I do. It's a lot easier. But that way, uh, you get that kind of that same action that a sushi, a sushi chef, well, I say that 800 times fast, uh, gets when he uh, slices through a, a sushi roll. Or even fish, if you're not a... if you're more of a sashimi eater. Plus, a lot of times what I do 
probably more so with a shave vet than with a straight razor is when I do rinse off the blade. A lot of times I'll leave a little bit of the lather on because that just creates one more level of uh, lubrication on the skin. And like I've said in previous videos, lock your finger in where it almost not hurts, but where it's locked in and you can't move. And then, of course, keep your wrist locked. I think you'll find that your shaves come out a lot smoother because what causes the irritation. And this is another a reason to make sure your blade stays wet. Is blade chatter. Now, a lot of times you think, no, I'm getting a smooth shave. But at that level, uh, you know, basically at almost the micron level. As that blade is going across your face, there's going to be chatter. There is no way that you're not going to get a little chatter. Now, it may not be discernible chatter, but at that level where the blade meets the skin and it comes against... Uh, any type of uh, restriction, it's going to chatter as it goes over. And then, of course, if you have a, a very high-density beard, uh, it, it may chatter. It's not You're not going to feel it. You're going to say, oh, this is one of the smoothest shave. But that's why you still get a little bit of irritation when you say, God, that was such a smooth shave. So by wetting that blade, that creates and maybe leaving a little lather on it, that keeps that lubrication going. Because what you're doing is you're emulsifying the lather with the hot water or, you know, cold water as it goes across. So you're building a wave. At that microscopic level or the whisker level, uh, if you want to say that. And you want to keep that. As much as possible because what people don't realize is how much moisture is taken out of your skin even though it's wet how much moisture is creeping out of your skin when you're shaving it's quite a bit just a little bit of cleanup today so try it see what you think put it in the comments uh, but i guarantee you it will work by keeping the blade wet It's also one of the reasons that the flat blading and the buffing technique that I use works so well is because this lather is very, very wet, very, very thin for the most part, and I can just reuse it. But again, by keeping that that uh, blade wet and dipping that that the the toe of the blade it will help and it doesn't matter i mean depending you'll get good at it where you can see the bead of water going down or traveling down the blade but if it's dripping big deal that just means you've got it as wet as you need to and as i said before when i'm doing cleanup is the only time i break my cardinal rule of locking my wrist. And that's only during the buffing. The, the flat planing or flat blading as somebody had, flat planing as somebody brought up um, is the only time and with the buffing. All right, let's see how we did. If I can, I rearranged everything in here so I gotta figure out, remember where I put my alum. There we go. Barely anything, a little bit of a bite, but that's, I expect that every time I shave. Okay, we'll get cleaned up here and we'll go over everything. So try those techniques uh, for those of you that are uh, straight razor shaving. It is more advanced stuff, but as far as uh, wetting the blade, try it. Uh, if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, um, but... 
thousands of years of sushi chefs slicing through rows and making <laughs> making your plate pretty. Uh, they they're onto something. And today for our witch hazel, we'll be using Quinn's lavender. And while that's drawing down, we'll get cleaned up and we'll go over kind of what we did today. So I hope everybody's having a good Monday. If you had to go back to work, I apologize. Uh, if you didn't have to go back to work, hey, welcome to a Monday off. I uh, hope everybody, your families are doing well. Uh, one of our members on the shaving cadre, we are on uh, Baby Watch. Uh, my partner and his lovely wife are about to welcome their third uh, baby, and they are right at the cusp. So we're thinking it's going to happen pretty soon. So again, the rays that we used today was the Essence by Tetalus. Uh, it is a removable blade, straight razor or shavette, whatever you want to call it. And I've got a feather pro guard blade in there. Uh, I, as I've said this before, I think it's probably the best uh, shavette on the market uh, that emulates a straight razor um, more than any other. Uh, the brush today, and this is kind of a theme for everything, the brush today, we did use the Noble Otter Synthetic. Wonderful brush. I'm really, really, really starting to like that a lot. Uh, the soap today uh, was Noble Otter Logbook. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I am very, very impressed with uh, Noble Otter and uh, probably be doing a full review of this a little bit down the road. Uh, for the aftershave, we're sticking with the logbook, uh, Noble Otter. And again, just a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. And just uh, good stuff. It is alcohol-based, but it's a very mild um, bite that you get, but it does tone and everything else, so... For today, we're just going to be using some residual talc, and it is Clubman. Um, I should have some new stuff arriving tomorrow. Because I'm running out of everything. But it's good stuff. Okay, and for the EDT, we are going to be using, uh, again, Logbook from Noble Otter. Love this little bottle. It's really cool. All right, that's it, folks. I certainly appreciate you joining us here at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. Please check all the items out and everything else. And uh, please comment. And uh, for those of you that I gave those uh, tips for, uh, please comment uh, if you've tried it and see what, tell me what you think. Uh, and if you have any types of uh, straight razor techniques that you want me to try, well, maybe not try or explain, uh, please let us know in the comments and we'll try to get back to you. So this is Barber Dave. This has been Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. We certainly appreciate it. Have a wonderful Monday. Take care.